So I just got this battery and check this out. <laughs> the lid was glued on, but it ripped off the moment I tried to take this battery out of the shipping container, which is a huge red flag. That is not a good sign at all. So let's dig deeper and see what else we can find. What? They're using masking tape, really? Oh, these are stripped out already. <laughs> yeah, you definitely get what you pay for. So first we have four lithium iron phosphate cells in series. This is a 12 volt battery. And on top of the cells, there's a resistive heating element. And that's quite strange. Usually this is on the bottom or between the cells or even on the sides. I've never seen one on top before. And these cells are glued in here, but they might be using the same glue on this top case. So it might just fall apart. The glues that they use are awful. And look at that, we already have it apart. That was the easiest battery teardown ever. So first, let's test out this heater pad and see if it actually works in low temperatures. For that, we need to find the temperature sensor. There's a temperature sensor right here, but it wasn't attached to the cells, unfortunately. Usually it should be taped or glued. It was attached to the plastic and the balance lead, so it's not gonna assess the temperature of the cells that effectively. Now the configuration of this BMS is somewhat different. On the back of the board is a heat sink, and then the FETs are exposed right here. And then you have a temperature sensor in case it overheats. And the control board is right here, but I think this is a Bluetooth module. And the balance cable and the heater pad connect right here. Also, I realized that this is a 12 volt heating element because this, the other end of the switch to turn the heater on, goes on the negative, and then the other side of this heater is connected to the main positive. I wonder why they attached it over here at the main terminal when they could have attached this to the BMS instead. And now we're charging with 10 amps. And now we're dipping the sensor in the ice cold water. <gasps> Look at that! And the heater is on, so it actually works! And this thing is getting hot. I mean, we've got 55 watts going through this thin little pad. Now let's heat it up. And it's charging again. So it actually works! And the build quality looks surprisingly good. They're actually using cell holders. And the balance leads are attached to the bus bar with a ring terminal, and then they glued on top. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with this bus bar. It looked like it was welded, but there's a screw in the terminal. I've never seen that before, welded and screwed. That is strange. Oh, what? There's two heater pads. How did I not see that? Wow. So these are six volt pads in series. Pretty simple configuration. Also, the heat sink has fiber board and it's not touching the cells. It's actually connected to the cell holders. So this is not as bad as I was actually expecting. It really sucks that they did not glue the lid on properly. And there's glue on the edge, but it did not work. And right when I got it, right when I lifted it out, the top just popped right off. It didn't take any effort and I didn't drop it or anything. Like there's no tools used. I didn't drop it once. Like it just popped right off. Let's try to see if these cells are new. I do not want to cut this with my tool because I might nick the cells on the other side. And I really don't want to deal with electrolyte. That is the tough thing with welded terminals. Let's see if we can snip this. Yeah, they're just aluminum. You know, if we just cut this one, we'll be good to go. So let's try it. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh. They're brand new cells. These are the ones that are used, I believe, in SOK. Zero nine one, so this might be <gasps> that slightly. is. These are the same cells in the new SOK batteries. These are not cheap. These actually have a really high cycle life. I am surprised that they're using these. Wow, most companies do not use these. Actually, we should check on the forum to see if anyone else has had this issue. So Relay Bat. Yeah, no results found for this battery. This is a new battery. Why did they do that? Let's see how much this thing costs, because I forgot. $550 for a self-heating battery. That's not a bad price. Let's see how much the self-heating SOK is, just to compare. The SOK is $630 with pretty much the same cells and the same features. But you know that the top won't pop off and it will actually work. Now, if you guys buy one of these and you have any issue with the lid popping off or anything at all, please list it in the comment section below or make a post on the forum. Let's see if this is sold on Amazon too. 
And this battery is not on Amazon, which is very smart. They save a ton of money. For this category, it's like 13% just to list on here, which is absolutely nuts. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.